Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. If it looks like we are in the holiday mood, it might just be because, well, Black Friday's over with, Cyber Monday is today, and oh, and Monty's taking Christmas pictures. But meanwhile, while we're getting ready for Christmas, the world still turns, and we're gonna bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, because the Republicans are uh, breaking their promises to the people that elected them to office. And they're not only going to raise taxes on people, they're not going to get anything for the raising of taxes on people. And they've decided they're going to let the President of the United States off the hook on the death of those people in Benghazi by electing that Rice woman to be the Secretary of State. Oh. Yeah, so at this time it actually is over for them. And Congressman elect writing Elizabeth Smart's memoir. Yeah, that Elizabeth Smart won. Cong she won her. Uh, uh, here's the trick is why didn't the female escape? Why didn't she make a run for it if she'd been trotted out in town? My father was a police officer, would have questioned her kidnapping massively. Oh. Deadly Louisiana oil rig a fire claims second victim. Yeah, they've lost a couple of people. They don't even know where they're at. <laughs> Monty comes in to supervise. I know. She comes into her cattle. Monty, who basically had eye problems, she basically goes to the smallest areas now to get in and I know. show off. And fire breaks out at State Department for injured Reuters five hours ago. Yeah, including one of the top officials at the at the State Department. Uh, you know, and, and there's no truth. Though. He said, Herbie Daddy said there's no truth to the rumor that it was caused by that that terrorist group Al Qaeda that doesn't exist to show what they can do in this country when they choose now. And shoppers buy earlier this holiday season. Well, yeah, because they um, they wanted to make okay. They were trying to milk it for as much as they could, and what they found out was not only did they milk it for as much as they could, people didn't actually, less, while there were more people in the store, they were buying less things. So it was an ungodly disaster for this holiday. They said it just sort of, oh, oh, oh hurry daddy said, remember the Mayan prediction? Well, it's starting to come true, folks. Ooh, and super rich flight from California? Not so fast. Well, yes, they are, and no, they're not. <coughs> what they're doing is they're buying, they're keeping their places here, but they're getting permanent residences in other states so that they don't have to pay the California taxes that they just have to pass for everybody else. Ah, and Japan politics. Oh, maybe there's a market for timeshares in California now. Yeah. You buy them somewhere else and you come into California periodically, right? Yeah. Japan politics could fragment further on road to two party. Yes, two yeah. parties. Rivals well, dispute lead. Oh, they only have like a one-party system in Japan. It continually elects this, uh, elects people from their party. But the problem is, it has so many problems with the people. Just the the economy. The Japan basically went stupid. They they did the traditional bit where the people had jobs for life, and then found out that they weren't socialists in Japan. They were they were capitalists. Capitalism and socialism don't work, so the jobs for life went out the window. The people that promised the jobs for life are the people now that are trying to stay in power in a country that no longer has the money to provide a social network for everybody forever. And rivals dispute leadership of France's conservatives. Well, yeah, because the uh, the, the liberal, the socialist liberal, has basically got. He can't raise, they've raised taxes, and guess what, ha oh, Herbie Daddy said, you know what happens when you raise taxes in a socialist country? What? The people that have the money leave the country. Oh. So they raise taxes, and basically, you know, you know what they're going to have to do after they raise the taxes to make up for the shortfall in the, raise, uh, the last tax raise? What? They're going to raise taxes to try to make it up, which is exactly what they're doing in our country. And Turkey has not yet requested NATO missiles. Dutch minister. Well, because they're not going to get them, because they are uh, the basically the Syrians. Uh, Obama's not going to get involved. NATO's not going to get involved, and it's basically it's a matter of different Muslim sects fighting out with one another. And uh, you know, the, if you're going to help the rebels, you had to help them while there was a chance there'd be a Republican presidency with an Obama presidency. Those people are toast. And Turkey has not yet requested NATO missiles. Dutch minister. I know she liked that one. Oh, well, here, there's another turkey. Turkey says it will hold talks with Kurdish militants. And then they, uh, then they basically fired on the Turkish militants. They're not Turkish militants. They're not militants. They are, they are Kurds. There's a whole country that Turkey wants eliminated. And Turkey had a tendency to send Turkish soldiers over into Kurdistan all the time. Mm -hmm. And then says, 
Well, you can't you can't come into our country, but they go into they go into Kurdistan anytime they want because guess what? The Kurds are even another Muslim group. Oh, and Marine Corps forms a new fighter jet squadron, which I've never understood because they have the United States Navy to do their work for them. So, so why, why do you need, need to do that? Jets? It's just a, it's redundancy. Marines are supposed to guard ships and take and and to be as, and foot soldiers. Isn't that and why local, they call them Marines? That's why they call them Marines. But basically, they, they've been flying since World War II. But the forces have been mostly just for um, uh, mobile support for their ground troops. But what they're doing now is they're basically uh, form, they're getting carrier to be, uh, carrier flights now, which is ridiculous. Oh, they are. Yep. Um. Police officer quits after comments about Obama. You can't even say, okay, it's no longer permissible in our nation for freedom of speech. If you, if you don't like the guy, you can no longer say that if you want to keep your job in this country. In Hollywood, they're finding out if you supported Romney for presidency or didn't actively support Obama, you've lost your job. Oh. Yeah. The Black, Black Friday was the biggest ever. Uh, and until the next day when they found out it was a total disaster. But don't worry, the, you know, the stocks, um, all of the companies collapsed today after they told everybody that there were, it was 13% lower than last year, which is a disaster. And which of these ex-Romney surrogates turned on him the most? Yeah, virtually all of them turned on him because he gave up the last two weeks of the election. I know, totally. He had the election won. And just totally gave up on it, which generally you, you, and then here's the funny it's part. It's like, what happened? They said he's doing everything now since he's not running that he should have been doing. He's basically, he's going to Disneyland. He's went to Knott's Berry Farm. He's uh, went to Disney World. He's been on the beach with his kids and grandchildren. I think it's one of those things they have it in their head that you're supposed to be doing certain things at certain times. No, but they told him he had to. Get, he had to get off that high horse and do... The guy basically is a self-made millionaire. He grew up with a parents that basically were social servants and uh, they didn't have a lot of money. He made the money himself. He knows what hard work is like. His kids aren't millionaires and yet he wouldn't, He refused to go out among the people and do the same things that he did when he was It's young. what he did growing up. That's right. Yeah. Prince William and Kate Middleton share new intimate photos. Yeah, not, they didn't intend. They to. didn't intend to share, right? They said that, they said that basically, they they now can see what uh, Kate Middleton liked about uh, about the prince because he's very useful with his hand. <laughs> yeah, and they want those pictures. They they fired a guy. They fired one of the people in England for publishing pictures of of the prince playing with his wife. Aren't they, isn't that what they're supposed to do? Yeah, I know. They said that you don't do that in the British Isles. And if you do it anywhere else, they sue you. But they do it Oh, we're else. talking about them printing it. I thought we were talking about the prints playing No, they're wife. printing those pictures. Well, they, the problem, for I think these were their pictures this time. They published to the wrong place. They were sending oh, naughty pictures. Well, and they, oh, you mean like they were Instagramming each other or something stupid yeah, like that? Yeah, and they ended up being public. Oh, yeah, yeah that's a... You know, like, hey, how would you like to see? Yeah. 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 So he's, oh. never, he's never going to be king of England because these are big. Look, here's the problem is his little brother's got caught. He's got caught. So who's going to be the next king of England? I guess Charles is. He's got to be Charles. He doesn't want to be. He's going to end up king. I know. Hostess gets okay to begin winding down business. Yeah, and they're saying that it was more important that we stood up for the working man in this country than keep our jobs. Well, the problem is... The bakers were 3,000 people cost 15,000 people their jobs and cost the Teamsters, and Teamsters don't tend to forget. The Teamsters were the big unions. The Teamsters basically understand that when the court says you do this, you do this. You don't go on strike because if you go on strike, they don't care about what you have to say. Uh, and they yeah. uh, just, you know, it was a mistake by the bakers union. They thought Obama was going to turn the company over to him. Obama, the basic thing that Obama did oh, say... Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, Obama's Justice Department said, well, these are Wall Street people. That's what they said. And, and that was the only thing they could do because the problem is 
they they basically have uh, they 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 bought the company, turned it around, and then got hit with unions that killed them. Oh, speaking of, fifteen hundred people get fired for not getting flu shots. Yeah, it turns out that there uh, there's a provision in the Health Care Act that nobody actually knew about again, which allows you to fire workers for not doing preventative medicine. Mm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. I found out one very important thing about when you're old. When you're old, you have to do actually more work than the people that are younger to prove that you can actually still do the work. Mm.